So if I ask you, pull some points out, I'll pull five points out because remember, we're gonna do the inverse table. So I'm gonna show you graph on a coordinate system and on a table and then yesterday, whoa, hitting the camera. Yesterday we worked algebraically solving for inverses, which we're still gonna do here. Okay, so this is like the trifecta. If I pull out a point, so one, two, three, four, five. So this is negative five. This is negative five, four. If I pull negative three, negative three, four, negative one, negative one, four, zero, zero, two, four. I know I'm getting really extra four, four. Okay, are you okay with those points on the table? Yes? All right. So an inverse function, what it does is you let y equal x and x equal y. Okay, well that's a specific line. So to find inverses, you let y equal x and you let x equal y. This is an actual line. The slope is one and the y-intercept is one. So y equal x is actually, and we're gonna make a dash because we don't wanna graph the line like it's a legitimate line that we're gonna study. This is the line that gives you the inverse function to the original line. So if, you're, if so, if you're given the inverse line, you can find the other one. If you're given the regular function, you can find the inverse to the function. You just have to fold diagonally because that is the line of y equals x. That's the substitution of let the y variable become x and let the x variable become y. So if I fold, on that line, right? So this is my inverse y equal x. So if I fold on it, but I'm first gonna fold it this way so that I can get a nice clean line. Okay, so now let me fold it this way. All right, so there's my line. All right, so Oh, that's horrible. I even pre-did it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. So if you have the line, all right, if I follow it and I look, right, you pick it up, my line is landing right through here. So if I'm following it up, it's coming... And so this line is x equal four. It's a vertical line. So the inverse function to a horizontal line is a vertical line. Right, remember, my original line is y equal four. If to find the inverse to this line, you let y equal x and x equal y, well, if I'm given y equal four and I let y equal x, isn't my inverse now x equal four? And that's that line right there that I got off the folding at the diagonal line y equal x. So I even got it I even got it algebraically, but it was like one step, so it was really easy. I got it graphically because I just folded on that dash y equal x line. Okay, what about the table? What happens to the table? What is x becomes y and what is y becomes x. So what happens to your ordered pairs? They just switch. So Notice, if it's negative five, four, it's four, negative five. And if I check four, negative five, 
wait, one, two, three, four, five, here's that point. Negative three, four, four, negative three. One, two, three, four, negative one. Zero, zero is still zero, zero, right? Oh, no, 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 why did I put zero, zero, you guys? Oh, zero, four, four, zero. Don't ask me why I did that. Four, two. Mm. And then, oh, four, four. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I just got happy. And so here are the points. And so that's how it relates. So graphically, how do you get the inverse to a function without any information? Hold it diagonally. Reset it. There you go. Part. XY table, the variables, the independent and the dependent variable just switch. And then algebraically, you, re you switch the variables and you solve for the y. Okay, this is a real easy one, and I kind of like it because it shows you that horizontal and vertical, they're actually the inverse of each other. And if you think about it, what's the slope of a horizontal line? zero. So if you have zero as a numerator, but if you were to reciprocal to zero, zero would go to the denominator, and that's undefined. You're not allowed to divide by zero. That's a restriction. So thus, that would make it a vertical line, because what's the slope to a vertical line? It's undefined. <laughs> do an actual line. All right, so now I'm going to give you, oh, by the way, so just know it's f prime of x. That's your inverse. So if you guys are going to take a state test, f of x would be your original, and f prime of x is the inverse. Okay, that's your inverse. All right, take All right, so this is your line. So graph it, table it, and then do it algebraically. And just take your time, no rush. And if you wanna put the inverse, you can. And I know I did, um, I pulled six points out. You could do like four or five. I mean, once you understand the switching of the tables. All right, so go ahead and graph that. Pull some points out, or you could do the points first. It's up to you. If you want to do the table and then plot it, you can. But then give me the inverse, and then fill in the inverse chart, and then give the algebra a try where you try it out algebraically. you want to be able to do you want to be able to find the inverse all three modalities okay. um, It's still recording right now. I'll stop the recording, but it'll go blank and then it'll reset. It'll show again. Oh, Kayla, were you taking the test? Oh, wait, wait, I'm recording. Don't answer me. We, I just realized I record. Hold on, you guys.